Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie, and as you saw in the title of the video, I'm going to talk about five places that you have to visit when you are going to Magnolia Market. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle and all things Magnolia, of course. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, if you don't know, Magnolia Market is located in Waco, Texas. And since they opened in 2015, they have expanded the grounds, they have been doing a lot of renovations, they opened new stores, they renovated the grounds, the gardens, so there is a lot to see and do. And first, when you enter to Magnolia Market, one of the first things you see is the main store where they sell the Magnolia collection and also the seasonal collections that probably you have seen in many of my videos. And they have a variety of things from the core pieces to kitchen items to home products. There is a lot to see there. And then you have the grounds. The renovations are almost done there. There is a big garden where people can relax and lay down, kids can play. There are some tables there and it's surrounded by food trucks and also the Magnolia Seed Supply store where they sell gardening products. So there is a lot to see there. But now they open new shops, the shops at the silos. All these shops are created by Joanna Gaines. There are six cottages. They offer a variety of goods from products for men, women, and children, bath and body products, and a paper and goods store. So there is a lot to see. There is a garden in the middle and a chapel too. And these six retail cottages are located in a way that it has a cozy and warm vibe. And during the holidays, it was all light up. It was beautiful. So I think it's a great addition. You can have a very pleasant shopping experience there. And if you want to see some furniture and decor pieces, you can go to Magnolia Home. And here you'll find a retail space that would showcase the full picture of home from furniture to rugs, to wall decor, art, and other accent pieces. Whether you are starting from scratch looking for additional pieces or simply needing to gather ideas for your space, this will inspire you in many different ways to decorate your home. So yeah, that's another store that you have to see. And then if you want a coffee break, you can go to Magnolia Press. This cafe was opened in 2019 and you can find here coffee, tea, hot cocoa and pastries too. They are famous for their seasonal drinks, like the peppermint white chocolate mocha and the cinnamon latte. And if you want your coffee to go, in the back patio there is a walk-up window when you can order directly, you don't have to enter Magnolia Press and keep shopping. So that's great. I really like the place, the coffee is really good and the pastries too. So yeah, another good place to visit. And another place that you have to visit when you go to Magnolia Market is their bakery. It's called Silos Baking Co. They offer an assortment of sweet and savory baked goods, including cupcakes, pastries, cookies, and more, including gluten-free options too. And they also offer coffee and other drinks. They are famous for their lemon lavender cupcake and their pumpkin cupcake during fall. Also another favorite is the Silo Cookie that has oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, peanut butter chips and walnuts, and the seasonal pastries for example, the red velvet cupcake and the oatmeal cookie pie. So yeah, the pastries there are delicious. It's a small bakery, so that's why sometimes there is a line to enter, but it doesn't take that long and they try to do it really fast. If there is a long line, they already give you the menu while you are waiting so you know what you're going to order. And inside the dynamic is very fast. So yeah, I think it's worth it, definitely. You have to check it out. And another place you have to visit is the little shop on Bosky. This is not inside the Magnolia Market, but it's worth visiting because here you can find slightly damaged and last chance items at a discount 
from vases and florals to apparel and gifts. There are so many great finds here. This was the original Magnolia store, then they moved to the silos, but you have the opportunity here to find many items at a discount. They have very good prices and it's worth seeing, definitely. I've made videos showing all these places. I have a Magnolia Market playlist. I'll leave it here and down below in the description if you want to check it out. And a bonus one that I want to mention is the restaurant Magnolia Table. It's not inside Magnolia Market, but again, it's worth visiting. It's a breakfast and lunch restaurant specializing in fresh homegrown ingredients and good old-fashioned cooking. You can make a reservation online or you can go directly there, but it's better if you have a reservation because the lines are usually long. But if you don't want to eat inside, they also have a takeaway and market. There is an area where you can go directly there and grab a lunch on the go. You can also order their coffee and espresso and you can purchase there a variety of Magnolia table gifts like kitchen towels, mugs, hats, t-shirts and other stuff too. If you want me to make a video showing Magnolia Table, please let me know in the comments. I will be happy to do it. So yes, as you can see, there is a lot to see and do in Magnolia Market. They expanded the grounds. There is a lot to do with the years. They opened many things from shops to restaurants. So you can visit and have a great day with all the things they offer. So I think you can have a good time there. And remember, they are open from Monday to Saturday. They close on Sundays. So let me know in the comments if you visited Magnolia Market or are you planning to do it. Let me know which places would you like to visit and what other videos would you like to see from Magnolia. Leave me a comment telling me all of that. So yes, this is everything I wanted to show you. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!